Then it can be controlled by the maintenance console. Easy as one to blast Gage with his own drill. That's brilliant! So I guess, uh, disable those brakes? No problem, right kid? Console operates the lift that'll take you to the drill's brake mechanism. Slice its head up. Okay, maybe a little bit of a problem. Good luck! Success, my friend. One more like that, and the drill will be yours. Attention, all troopers. Our intruders think they can disable my drill. Oh, very good, excellent. You found the target. 
That console will steal control from Gage and deliver it to you. Archie you took the liberty of loading the coordinates of the drill's control room into the targeting computer. Simply select Gage's position and fire. He's not responding! What have you done? is attempting to regain control of the drill. There's no defeating the first Oh, congratulations! You did it! Well, thank you, Mumo. And I did get the coaxium schedules. Hondo, not you! The kid! Took down an entire First Order battalion and rid the outpost of a re-education center! Indeed, the resistance is in your debt. <laughs> if every world had appeared like you, my existence would be considerably less stressful. Of course I remembered R2. Um, the, um, the Resistance Commander here on Batu has a message for you. Right, sons. Vimerati here. Word amongst those in the know is you went and blew up a perfectly good brainwashing station today. And for that, you've earned my thanks. 3PO says you're quite the inspiration. Now, the rest of your story is up to you to write, but just know, our door's always open. Sure, the resistance might sound enticing, but don't discount a career in relic hunting. Not as partners or anything, it's just how you could use the company. Oh, there he is! Look who's back to their old self! Wow, huh, kid? Gosh, we really almost f ourselves on that one. As you can see, the deprogramming took. And his brain has been restored to its original, questionable state. <laughs> Good one, Doc. But the joke's on the First Order. You gotta be educated before you can be re-educated. Oh, cheers to that! All hail the First Order. Gotcha! <laughs> I'm kidding, you Minox! <laughs> All hail the First Order. <laughs> you thought I was... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that till I stop. <clears throat> and Doc, speaking of coaxium, I will be needing another ship for the heist. One alone is not enough. Surely you can help? No, do not ask again. Now there is a ship. That just might work. Hey, Cecil Slack, now that you're all together upstairs, do you remember the story that got them so mad at you? Oh, I do! The story I was telling? It was about a certain droid repair tech who had no business getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. <laughs> oh, I agree. The First Order would not like that. Yeah, yeah, I guess that story got us into quite the scrape, huh? <laughs> but you know what, kid? Eh, I doubt again.
Yep, I've seen that look before. That look on your face. Lightsaber envy, huh? Get in there. I got just the thing for it. Remember Addie? She had the trouble with all the darkness and the whispers, you know? Well, she went on to become a Jedi Knight. And she knew that meant eventually taking a Padawan. But what she didn't know is that in order to teach, you also have to be willing to learn. But for our first field lesson, I thought there'd be a challenge, like save a village from raiders or... Not all challenges are opponents, Padawan. You'll see. Master Sylwyn would insist on a trip to Valron when she'd sense me losing focus. But we also came because... It's time I returned something of hers. I've been using my master's kyber crystal in my lightsaber. Oh. As a Jedi, these attachments are forbidden. But everything happened so fast. The hyperspace disaster struck before I was assigned a new master, and then the Nile threat appeared. I think I needed her voice, in a way. What kind of things would she say? Oh, wise counsel things. Like, one of her favorites on Perseverance was, Addie, you must push through. It worked. You're here. Yes, but what happened on Batu? Did Master Yoda's presence save me, or would Master Silwyn's training have been enough? Training like what? The training you're about to begin. This is a bunch of holes. What is this? It's why we're here. This is where you'll take some of your first steps of really listening to the Force and letting it speak through you. Oh, whoa. Okay. This is what I wanted. Now hold on, Padawan. Remember, a Jedi. Mm -hmm. I remember. Enough! Stop, Nua! Stop! Uh, I didn't! <sighs> I'm sorry, Master. I'm sorry, Nua. I remember that feeling. Master Silwyn let me fail in front of her again and again. I should have done it first. ...to show you how to succeed. Now... ...stand back. <laughs> Need to avoid the ones that explode. was a bit slow that time. I struck the exploding ones to show you what not to do. Oh. See, Nua? It's not easy. This is a hard one. Oh. Next time. So close. How about another try? Oh. 
almost had it. Go again. One more. One more time. <laughs> hmm. Maybe a different strategy. Hmm. I can do better. Nearly right. Close. I'll try it again. Here we go. Again. I'll try another approach. Well, I guess I'm a bit rusty. It's a good thing we came here.
You see, it's not just about defense. It's also about patience, being settled before determining what combat is even called for. Being focused, it could mean sparing the life of another, or maybe saving your own. Don't give up, Master Addy. You're good at this, Master. Well, I wasn't always. And you'll get better, too. But beyond your lack of patience, you let your eagerness for combat get the best of you. I understand, Master. I get it. I just... We have to power. Sometimes it feels good to use it. Okay. That emotion you're describing is a release. A release of frustration and rage. Those are not the tools of a Jedi. Maybe I brought you here too early. No, wait, Master! You brought me here for a lesson. I'll just watch and learn. We can push through like Master Silwyn said. That's the point, right? I suppose it is, Padawan. There we have it. Not a lesson in strength, a lesson in restraint. Sure, but aren't the Jedi supposed to defend the Outer Rim? I mean, I know we're peacekeepers, but how are we supposed to keep the peace without some muscle? The true measure of a Jedi isn't when they are the most powerful in the room. It's when they're not. Physical prowess and training is good. It is. But our goal is peace. So the mental side, the discipline, the clarity of thought and focus, that is the core of our strength. Okay. Well, are there any more provocative thinking exercises? <laughs> Lucky for you, there are. I wish Master Silwyn and I made it here more often. left their rocks. They're ancient Devium stones, Padawan. And the key here is balance. Use the force to arrange the stones. It's not solely about balance within, either. You need to consider balance with every decision as a Jedi. The balance of nature if you need to relocate a settlement, of a treaty and how it affects all parties. Balance doesn't always mean an even split of weight. Texture, density, shape, there are many aspects to consider. And that's just for these stones. The world outside this temple only gets more complex.
Okay, but how important can this really be? Because most of the histories I've read are about great Jedi victories on the battlefield. I can't think of one that's like about the time Master Yoda concentrated really hard and achieved balance, the end. That's because you weren't listening. Every victory comes at a price. The notion of glory in winning? That's the lure of the dark side. Yeah. That... You're right. Okay. Show me another? a little faster. you're doing it the way i was thinking would have collapsed when i was young as short as you are now i was um i'm actually tall for a year of my age. oh uh yes <laughs> well <sighs> anyway i'm sorry i should have known that you're my first padawan and i worry i'm not ready for this well, I think it's okay to not be good at something on your first try. Patience and balance, right? Huh. is to do it quickly.
I'm glad you're showing me these... What would you call these? Master Selwyn called them... Obstacles. I think she wanted to change my perception on what an obstacle could be. Think about this, Padawan. What use is an obstacle? They don't have a use. They're just in the way. <laughs> they are. But an obstacle also presents us with a challenge. And challenges push us. Make us grow. Oh. Yeah. Let's do some more obstacles then. I'm not clear on what... Ew. Gross. Should we clear those out with my lightsaber? No. They have to be nurtured. Ugh, but they're nasty. It's how we foster growth. Learn to look at a problem differently, and an enemy can grow to become an ally. Or maybe even something more beautiful. Like a friend. Um, how? The flowers want the falling seeds. We provide them with the guidance they need. Right. They're actually beautiful. I was kind of afraid of them at first. You shouldn't fear something just because it's unusual to you. Fear, anger, hate, suffering, they all lead to the dark side. I broke that seed on purpose, to show you how fragile life is. Seeds are easily cracked. to take better care with the seeds.
So, you never get scared? Well, I do. But if you're afraid of the dark, then you need to be the light. Master, I sense something. Are you... Is there something you fear now? Uh, being here brings back a lot. I feel Master Silwyn's absence again. What was it like when you lost her? <sighs> it was like falling. You think there's nothing you can do, no way to reach out and stop the descent. Just deeper and deeper. And, uh, uh thankfully, Master Yoda is there to guide me back. But her being gone, I don't ever want to leave you in a similar situation. Maybe now is a good time to return her crystal. Where will it go? There's a vessel here in the temple. Early Ithorian, I think. She always admired it. Okay. I'll wait over there. Thank you, Padawan. I'll be quick. I guess it's time to say goodbye, Master. Now, to get her crystal out. Hello, Master. I know you'd probably frown on me taking this, but we parted too soon. I didn't feel... finished when you were taken. But I've tried to become the Jedi you were molding me to be. I just hope I've made you proud. I still can't believe I'll never see you again. That the time we had is all we'll ever get. I'm a knight now, and we spoke about what it meant to be a Jedi, but being a teacher is a subject we never got to cover. I wish we had one more chance to talk, to just hear your voice again. <sighs> Nua? 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 Up here! Master, I'm up here! Up here, Master! One of those flowers is in this corner. I can give it a seed. Nua, get down from there. It's okay. I've I've almost got it. Ah! Nua! Ah! Ah! Master. 
Master, help me! Nua, I, I can't cut Dark. you out! My lightsaber doesn't... I... No. I can't fail her. <sighs> Nua! No! Nua? <sighs> it's okay, Master. I can do this. Whoa. Stupid seed. Last time I tried that. <sighs> Noah, you... I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help you. No, don't. It's what Master Sowen said. Challenges make us grow. If you had helped me, I wouldn't have learned anything. I... Uh, suppose that's true. How did you get out? I followed your lessons. I was scared, but with patience, I was able to find balance. That helped me push through. Also, I, I literally pushed through that panel. <laughs> you really looked at the problem in a different way. I'd never thought about taking those words... ...literally. Nua? I think you just helped me solve the mystery of the last obstacle. Oh, I get it! Push through! Whoa! What's inside? It's a message. Addy, I'm so proud of you. From Master Silwyn. I knew one day you'd find this. There isn't a single challenge you can't overcome, small or large. Push through. Wow. I believe you may be the large challenge she's referring to. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Kidding. Sort of. But Nua, thank you. For reminding me that the flow of knowledge goes both ways. You've taught me something today. A lesson my master meant to teach me years ago. You're welcome, master. You taught me that... I still have a lot to learn. Don't we all? But that's why I'm here for you. And you for me. Well... What's our next challenge? I think it's you telling Master Yoda you broke the sculpture. Just me? <laughs> All right, fine. We can do it together. Never too old to be a student, that's what I always say. Right, my little porgy wand apprentice? <laughs> <sighs> okay. Apparently someone's had enough learning for today. Now beat it, I gotta clean this up. Fifteen things you didn't know about Senator Abidala's wardrobe seamstress's cousin. I knew that, everybody knows that. Those two got together? <laughs> That's not gonna last long. In case you haven't noticed, this outpost ain't the classiest of joints. You see it every day, in every alleyway, sometimes even in my own bar. The galaxy's worst scum. But every once in a while, you can find good in the most unlikely of places. Because even the fearsome Anuba can change its stripes.
Nar Shaddaa. The Smuggler's Moon. The whole place is basically one big nest of the most treacherous, backstabbing, rotten junker rats in the Outer Rim. But there was one. Well, he was the worst of them all. IG-88, a Class 4 assassin droid, and one of the top bounty hunters in all of known space. Merciless. Unstoppable. But maybe, just maybe, not irredeemable. Greetings. So you're the bounty hunter? You are the bounty's client? Neva, yes. The last two... You're a droid. Ugh. I thought you'd be human or Trandoshan. I can assure you, droids are superior bounty hunters. Really? I've heard some impressive tales about Boba Fett. He's human, isn't he? You may proceed with the details of the bounty. His name is Boggs Triff. A gangster who thinks this is his district. I stood up to him, and when he couldn't catch me, he took my little brother. Triff kidnapped Navan and has him... somewhere. My brother? He was a soft one. One time we got up before dawn, and we saw...